Working at the lunch lines was great, but it didn't pay squat. I needed some money for college, so I got a job working in retail. I worked at a place called Dollar Tree. Unlike the scam artists over at the 99 cent store, everything at Dollar Tree was in fact a dollar. There was Claudia, she was a sweetie. Monica, she was chill. The spawn of Satan, Helen, she threatened to bash my head into the wall. And Mark, the general manager, this one time he made fun of how I owned a watch to check the time and not a phone. <laughs> I was poor. My job at Dollar Tree was simple enough. I was a cashier, and when I had no one in line, I would clean up at the front of the store. Okay, yeah, so some work stories. I was working the night shift when this lady comes up two minutes before we have to close. I let her in, reluctantly. She walks in the store and kind of just stumbles around talking to herself. I just wanted to go home at that point. Hurry up, lady. She barely makes it over to the counter and grabs some random candy out of the bins. Okay, your total is three dollars. Hey, you know. You've got some pretty eyes. Oh, uh, really? Thanks. Oof, and that body. You've got something going on there. Uh, th thanks? So where are you going after this, beautiful? Uh, uh, uh... I'll take it from here. I've never been hit on by a girl before, much less a 60-year-old drunk one. <laughs> So I was pretty confused. Speaking of old people, <laughs> old people. Old people would come in and ask for senior discounts? It's a dollar. One of the worst jobs you have to do when working at Dollar Tree was filling up balloons. The Dollar Tree was always understaffed. So while the manager was usually unboxing merchandise, it would just be me up at the front alone. Blowing up balloons took quite a while and if there were many people in line, you would have a potential mess on your hands. This one time I had a full line of people I was checking out. This guy comes up out of nowhere, not even in line, and says, Yeah, I'm gonna need 50 balloons right now. I have to leave for a party in five minutes. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Hey, I don't have all day. There's no way I could get it done in five minutes. Do you not see the huge line I'm in right now? Is what I would have said. Instead, I just stood there like a spaz. <laughs> Luckily, I had a nice manager on staff that day that took over balloon duty. Another thing about balloons was that we were always out of the smiley face balloon. Everyone always asked for it since it was an option, but for three months, we didn't have the shipment. I was slowly going insane each time someone asked for balloon 345. I was a pretty good cashier, if I do say so myself. You come to my line with 50-something normal items, and I would just go, boop, 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 done, here's your change. Boom. Then there were those people. They would come up to the line with 50 wine glasses. Why was it always wine glasses? They would usually show up when the line was completely empty, and once they arrived, everyone in the store, it's like they were on some kind of magnetic bull. Oh, she's checking out. I better check out with her. And usually the people in line would then complain that they had to wait. It's like, dude, we're... Where were, where were you when the line was empty? I would have to stand there, take 20 minutes wrapping all these wine glasses and a bunch of newspaper. <sighs> Sometimes people would come back to the store with open boxes of food and complain that they didn't like it, so they wanted a refund. It's a dollar. I would see some of the same customers come in from time to time, such as this one homeless guy to buy t-shirts and a few old ladies that always bought greeting cards. This one time I ran out of ones, fives, and tens in my register because it was a very busy day, so I had to give $12 and change to a customer in quarters and nickels and dimes. I didn't want to call Helen. <laughs> if someone called up Dollar Tree to ask if there was a specific item, I would usually tell them no, either because I was busy with a line or I was too lazy to check. Like, people, there's a website. Check it yourself. I don't have time. Okay, so one more story. A lady came in on a slow day and put like 200 items on the counter. As usual, people started stacking up behind her and started to get impatient. Okay, your total is 22015. Cash or credit? C credit, please. I tried ringing up her card, but it it says the card is denied. T try this one. I had to try like 5 different cards before she said, "Oh, Oh, yeah, uh, you know what? Just stare at that. I'm gonna transfer some money into my account. I'll be back in five minutes. She ran out of the store, and I thought, well, okay, I, I guess I'll, I'll wait then. We put all the stuff she wanted to buy back in a cart, but she never came back. 
The items she chose were random. They were basic living items. Like plates, cleaning supplies, food. I, I just hope that that lady wasn't going through something serious or running away from something. So, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> it was just kind of weird.